So we have 5 and 4 fifths. We're going to subtract 3 and 1 half. Since our denominators are different, we can list out the multiples of 2 and 5 to see what they have in common. 2 has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. We could keep going, but we're going to stop there. 5 has 5, 10. Oh, I can stop right there because I see they have 10 in common. So 10 is our new denominator. Let's bring down our whole numbers. How do we go from 5 to 10? Well, 5 times 2 is 10. So 4 times 2 is 8. Now let's think about how do we go from 2 to 10. 2 times 5 is 10. So 1 times 5 equals 5. So now we have 5 and 8 tenths minus 3 and 5 tenths. So let's do the fractions first. 8 tenths minus 5 tenths is 3 tenths. And 5 minus 3 is 2. So our difference is 2 and 3 tenths. 